Hello there, and welcome to the Generational Gamer. In this video, we're going to talk about Super XYX by East Asia Soft. It is another shoot 'em up, and I'm going to give you my honest opinions about it. I wanted this overview to be as truthful as possible, so I recorded as if I were doing it live. There will be some follow up where I have expanded beyond the point of the recording. Let's get started. Let's start looking at the options. Not all of it's explained as to what it is. So I am going to enable the hitbox. I'm going to show the music titles. Press left to go to the controls. So that's what these are. And fire. I am going to essentially change this around a little bit. It's a bullet health type of game. So I want to have the most comfort that I possibly can. So. Cross. That's uh, X on uh, this game. And then we can leave bomb the way it is and all that other stuff is fine. You can adjust the dead zone. And then we've got more options. So you can change the amount of lives. It's a hard game, so we're actually gonna bump it up to five. Uh, you can do up to three credits, so we'll do that. Stage clear type, basically when you finish a level that allows you to make a you modified you know either make it faster or slower etc so we're actually going to turn off the credits because it's just going to be one playthrough and I explain what's going on as I'm playing so I have already played this once um, at least so anyway you're able to add your name I which I did already it's J Pro J prime okay and then you have your choice of once you played it you can go into practice or arcade otherwise you just get arcade so let's go to arcade you get this dude and you get this person that appears to be it so we'll use this one so let's just back up for a minute. Generational Gamer from the future here. There are a number of unlockables as you play this game. This is the starting point when you have nothing unlocked. There are many other characters as you'll see in a moment. There's a few characters. Let's move on. The controls are pretty responsive. I mean, but it's bullet hell, so it does get kind of hard pretty quickly. I liken this to it's a Saturn game and I cannot put my finger on the name of it. I have no idea how to pronounce the title, but don't you see some similarities? Let me know if you think so. You get bombs, you'll see that they're in the upper left corner of the screen. But it's a vertical shoot 'em up with riding like uh, gameplay, but it has a hell of a lot more gunfights in here. So we'll get more power up. And as you can see, the graphics are really good. And I'll turn up the music in a second so you can hear it. I don't care for the sound effect. I don't think that's very good. It sounds like it's hitting something. So we just got options. And now we're at the first boss. It would be nice if there was a uh, bar at the top that told you how far you had him. Alright, so we beat him. Yay. Now we're entering Warzone. I've already been this far already. Get some more power-ups. And, like I said, it is a very difficult game. Let's power up. Doing my best Altered Beast interpretation. Give me my freaking power up. There we go. And that's down. So the shooting sound, I think, sounds fine. But when it hits something, it doesn't sound very good. I don't like those sound effects. As you can see, I'm already doing better this uh, game. 
all that practice. The Dual Sense controller is very comfortable to play this game with. And now we got our options back. And we're at boss number one with no death so far. And that's your secondary weapon on this. All right, and I think he's dead. Stage clear. Grab some of these medals. But as you can see, I'm already further along than I was, so it's just a matter of practice. Yeah, let's just take everything out. And now we're at yet another boss. And since I haven't beaten this one yet, I am just going to do whatever I can to defeat it. For them. And since I don't have any more lives, I have nothing to lose, folks. I think I just beat them both. There are six levels in this game. I mean, I will say this, all three levels that I've shown so far have diverse backgrounds, so it's kind of cool looking. And realistically, if I if I set it up with other... with my options. If I set it up with more um, credits, I probably could power through this game. Which I might, on a stream. I don't care for the way the water looks in this right here. It kind of looks like Se Sega's dithering from the Sega Saturn and uh, Genesis era. The graphics on the game as a whole are pretty good. The music is good. Let's power up some more. I mean, now you're a killing machine. I do not like the characters. Kill everything. Rebuild ourselves a wee bit. Oh, and I'm dead. Doesn't matter. That's the best I've done. And in theory, I probably could power through it if I set up three credits instead of none. Hey, look at that. I'm in number seven now. So it's saved, and that's the game, really. It's a shoot 'em up. So you see what it has to offer. Let me know if this is something you're interested in. Have a good one.